Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales and in today's video I'm going to share with you a very, very cool thing that I just made uh, for our personal projects which I would like to share with you guys which is how to convert your Google Sheets to a public API for a way for you to programmatically update the Google Sheet without having to pay for servers or have services or make it complicated things. It's very, very simple. It'll take probably about five minutes. And I want to showcase to you what it has and what we did in the example. And then as always, if you have any questions, please let us know. Please share your own ways how you use it. Any insights you have, any code, any suggestions, any issues, please suggest. This is just a very simple version, but I think it'll be very useful for you guys because we were looking for a solution for this kind of thing. And then I couldn't find something easy to use online. So I decided to make my own. Okay, so let's jump into it. So first of all, uh, what I want to do is I want to actually create a very simple Google Sheet. And this code in particular is for a very simple one column Google Sheet. So I want to show you the steps, take about five minutes, you can see how it works. It's great. Okay, so uh, the first thing is I'm going to actually go ahead and I'm going to create a new Google Sheet. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it, for example, let's say I want to store users. So for example, I'm going to call it users or users file, whatever it might be. And I'm going to have a header here called users. Okay. Um, and what I want to do, basically, I want to store, for example, the name of users, for example, Bob and Joe and et cetera, et cetera, Mary, et cetera, et cetera. And what I want to do is I want to have an API to do two things. I want the API to read the Google Sheet to be able to give it to the code or however you're looking for it. Read, number one, and the second one is write to it. So if there's new rows, I want to write to the end of the sheet. I want to append to the end here and here and here. And let's say I have another one, uh, etc. So let's let's jump into how to do this. It's really, really simple. We're basically going to use the native functionality. We're going to use app scripts to do this. It's going to be very, very simple. So let's go back here and let's read uh, through this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create step one is create the sheet, create the first column, the column header, and just some entries, maybe one or multiple entries. Okay. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do is actually go to the app script, go to extensions, go to app script, and I'm going to actually create a new script. So how, do, what code am I going to use? So first of all, I'm in my code.js, JS, GS, excuse me, and I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go to the GitHub and I'm going to go to this code.js right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy everything here. I'm going to copy it, the whole code here. And basically what this does, it basically takes the information in the sheet. It reads the sheet. It reads, uh, it converts it to a JSON format for reading and it handles two different types of requests. Uh, in a get request. Either give me, let me read everything, or let me write to you. So those are the two different things. It's very, very simple code. Uh, if you know a little bit about code, you can read it pretty simply. Okay. So what I did is I copied this. I'm going to go here, delete everything, and I'm going to paste the code right here. And I'm going to call uh, title my project, right? So for example, uh, users sheet API, just for example. And this is a get API, okay, in this example. Okay, so I'm going to call this. Great. Now it, everything's okay. The project was renamed. I copy it. I'm going to save my information right here and I'm going to deploy it very simply. Okay, I'm going to go here, click on new deployment, and I'm going to go here to right here, click on web app. Because it's a public API, public get API, I need it to be uh, via web app because it'll have a URL that I can access it from the internet. And because it's public in this example, it means anyone can. Uh, read this sheet or any and anyone can write to this sheet anything that's uh, with authorization like username password or api keys that's complete different code you can enhance it yourself and share with the community uh, but this is again for this video it's a public api it's available to anyone who knows the url of the web app okay so i clicked here i can title it for example um, I can just say, for example, say this is my V1. This is my first version of the API, just for example. Uh, execute it as, for example, the user. For example, in this video, I made my own Gmail account. And because we said it's public, I have to make sure that it's accessible to anybody. Anybody that uses the URL can access this. Make sure and be careful if you follow exactly the steps without making your own customization. It's public to anybody. Anybody that has the URL has access to it. So don't put private information and obviously make your own versions and everything. Okay. So I'm going to click on deploy. Once I click on deploy, I will actually get a URL right here. So we'll take a second.
okay? And what I need to do the first time, I actually need to authorize to let the script connect with my Google account to authorize the Google Sheet. So let's click on uh, authorize, okay? And I'm gonna authorize with my Google account. Okay, and I'm gonna click on advance, okay? And I'm going to click on continue. Okay, great. Now, what this permission does, it basically says, hey, Google is asking for permission via my account. So this script has access to see, edit, create all of my Google Sheet spreadsheets. Make sure you are aware of this permission. That means if you did something wrong, it has a, a code or you know you did something wrong, it could access all of your Google Sheets. Be very careful when you authorize which account, etc. Okay. And this is just default to ones, but you should always be careful on uh, what you're doing, obviously understand what you're doing. So now I'm going to basically copy this web app and this is the URL of my API. This is the one I'm going to actually use. I'm going to copy it right here and I'm going to use this. Okay. So now that if I've deployed this correctly, now what I can do, you can see I have some information in my APIs. Now I can go ahead and I can go right here. Okay, and let's go to my README. All the instructions in this video are in the README. So what I can do is I can do two things. Either I can go ahead and I can read the API or I can write to the API. Okay, so what can we do? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this URL right here and I'm going to go to this and if I want to read it, just read what's in there. I'm going to uh, take this section right here and say I want to read from I want to read the action read. I want to know what's in the, the API information and I want to read from the path sheet one. So what is sheet one? If you go right here, actually this is sheet one. If you change the names of this, you change the names of this, uh, the header of column A, or you change the name of the sheet, you have to update in your code. Please be aware of that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, let's say I want to read it. I'm just going to append after the exact, I'm going to have a question mark path equals and if I did it correctly, I'll be able to read in JSON all the information right here. So here we added a debug just so you're aware of it, but very simply put in the data, the data you're going to have. So action I was reading, you have users, the user Bob, the user Joe, the user Mary, and it's exactly what we have, the user Bob, the user Joe, the user Mary. So that's it. So this API read, if I have more, for example, um, Jane. Okay. So if I do that, if I add more, all I have to do right here is let's go back to my one second. Let's go back to right here. Excuse me. This is my dashboard. Oops. That's the sheet. Sorry. Going to my editor right here, manage deployments. I just want to get the URL again. Okay. So copy. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy this, add the action equals read right here, add it to the end. And now you'll see once we added, we, we added a new entry, you'll see we also have users Jane. Okay. So this is for reading. So this is for reading the sheet. You have, you know, more entries, you'll be able to read them. Okay. The second part is actually for writing. So how do I write it? So I'm going to do the same thing we did right here equals write and users equals name. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's go right here and I'll hit enter. So basically the users equals name is right here. So users and then I'll put the name itself. So once I hit enter, it'll actually say if it did it correctly, row added successfully and then debugging that we have, obviously we wrote to it. So when you go here, you'll see name right here. So let's try one more time. Let's get the URL, copy right here. Okay, and then we'll go to GitHub and we'll have it. So let's have another name right here. For example, question mark. So sheet one action right users equals James number two, just for example. Okay, so if I did it correctly, it'll add successfully. And then if I go back to my sheet, I have James number two. And that's it. Very, very simply. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it makes sense for you. If you have any questions, let me know. And I just want to review a few more small details about this whole thing in general. Okay. So 
Uh, very simply, uh, it's a very simple way for you to do it. There, obviously, it's not a, a, a whole server and it's not that fast, uh, but it is a very easy way for you to make a script and to convert your Google Sheet into something public that you can read and write to. It's very simply, don't forget it is public. So if you intend to have it private for your company or business, don't do it in this way. Either make your own servers, make your own APIs, or at least convert it, do some more coding to convert it to being private with authentication and API keys and things like that, okay? What else is very, very important? In the code that you copied before, in the code.js, uh, one of the things that happened is there's, there's code over there to check for duplicates. So if I went ahead here and I try to write to it and say, I want to add another Mary, it will not do it in the code that is available in the GitHub. So for example, if I do that, let's go right here. I'm going to go, right? And I'm going to add my path equals, and then I'm going to put Mary, right? So Mary, let's see if I type that in correctly, Mary 1R. That makes sense. Okay, so Mary, if I hit enter right here, you'll be able to see it says already exists and it didn't add anything. There's nothing new here. So it actually it checks for duplication. If you don't want that, you can remove that from the code, but that, that's one of the things that's uh, really important. Uh, other than that, I just wanna specify, um, if you remember this example has row number 70, we have this users. If you have something different from users, you need to actually update. For example, if I have a company name, just company, then I would actually have in the code when I copy paste into my code.js, I'll have to actually change right here to company. Okay, make sure things are case sensitive. If, there, if there's a capital C, make sure they do that as well. Okay, um, what else is very, very important? Let's see if we, if we have a few more things. Um, other than that, please make sure that you always read the guidelines of Google Sheets, app scripts, there are quotas, there are limitations. Maybe in the future there'll be some cost, depending on which country and the times. Maybe things change. Make sure you also read about sharing access, just like we shared access with our Google Sheets to allow Google Sheets and Google Apps or App Scripts to access all of our sheets. Make sure you're aware of everything. And most importantly, uh, this code is just for an example for you guys. Please uh, use it in any way. If you like it, please let me know. If you don't like it, let me know what we can improve or others uh, and use it in your own way. But you are responsible for anything you do. Please be very careful on the things you do. Uh, obviously, it's public and uh, just do it in the way that that's, makes sense for you. If you're not sure, hire a developer, obviously, the best thing to do. Uh, but this is just a simple way to do this. It does, there's no cost currently and it's a really nice way. Uh, as always, uh, we're making a lot of content for you guys. We're trying to spread information, share really good technical and fun information and uh, uh, a lot of good things. So if you liked it, please say hi, please like, subscribe, share, comment, go to our website, go to our social media. You have everything here. You can go to our website, our YouTube channel, uh, everywhere. Find us, subscribe, tell people, if share it, if you liked it, uh, just say hi. We're here to create a community. It's the beginning of our our journey. This is our first year and we're trying to make a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Most importantly, uh, we're, we're trying to get feedback from you guys. So let me know what you think about it. Much, much appreciated. Thank you guys. Thank you again.